Well, hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Today we are going to make, a, I'm calling it a candy treat box. Um, I'm making these for my Valentines to give out. Um, actually, by the time you see this video, they will have been given away. So, <laughs> the first thing I want to show you is this is what it started as. This cute little tiny box. Isn't that sweet? This is from the Close to My Heart Art Philosophy Cricut Cartridge. It was the very first cartridge they ever came out with, and it is still my favorite one. But I wanted to take this and I'll make this. Isn't that fun? So that's a big difference. So I had to get creative in design space and I needed to do some slicing because as this is laid out, it it cuts out like this. So it's just this whole big deal. And you can't fit that on that 12 inch Cricut mat. Your image can only be about 11 and a half inches wide um, and tall. So you're kind of stuck. So I, I did some slicing and then just copied one side of it so that I could make the long deal to make my whole box. But as I was looking at this, oh, I was just trying to decide what to do. I thought it needed a little something something. So we're going to do a little stenciling. Stencils are a very economical way to zhuzh up your project a little bit. In fact, I don't even need this over here on this side. I have have the, the line here, the score line that my Cricut did for me. And I'm putting some of our that tape on there. And I have these dots and I've used these before, but I just love them. I think they're so neat. And you know, I think it's really important, especially right now, that if you can use what you have, you know, we all have to make some budgetary decisions. Um, eggs are expensive. Gas is expensive. Everything's expensive. And I've always said, get out your stash. Use it up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using, this is retired paper or cardstock. I think this was sangria. The color I really liked. But it's no longer current, so I pulled it out of my current paper bin and I have it in a separate stash where I keep all the retired papers. Um, I do that for my uh, sanity because I I can't keep that all straight. What's current, what's not, if it's all mixed together. But I don't want to forget about it. It's perfectly good cardstock. And I'm just taking this dot stencil and this stencil was from, I think, a couple years ago. I don't know that it's still available, but if it was any kind of stencil in your, in your stash, go for it. Otherwise, we do have some newer ones that are also cool. And on the Sangria, I decided to go with the Mocha ink. And that's what it looks like. Isn't that fun? I think that looks so fun. I'm going to peel off the tape. I just didn't want my stencil to get up on the handle and over here on the side. And now I'm going to do a little folding and burnishing. So I'm just gently getting the paper going with my finger. And then I take my bone folder and get after it. Hopefully I'm not getting my head in the way. So to make the box, you need two of these pieces, and we will glue them together to make one big long strip. So that's the first one, all folded. Now we have to do the second one. Grab the 
tab folded and then the bottom flaps and I do really like how our cardstock cuts on the Cricut it really works well so first thing we're going to do is put a little glue here on this tab and I'm lining up this bottom score line with the bottom of the other part of the box actually this is referred to as a bag I always put box in the search if you want something like this put bag in there I think because it has those cute little handles they refer to it as a bag so I've got that part together see how fun that is nice big and long now on the other side I'm going to fold over this one so that I have that tab up and I'm going to get some more glue and then I'm going to fold over and again just eyeball lining it up. Now while it's flat it is easier to do the next part and the next part I wanted to put some hearts on there. So I had my Cricut cut out. I just used the general freebie heart shape that comes in your Cricut. And I cut a whole bunch of them out. I added a score line to it so my machine did all the scoring for me. And I'm kind of making a fun little 3D heart. And I'm going to slap it on there. Give a little pressure so that glue makes contact with the bag. And then we can fold in the side flaps. And this is the front, so I want to put that one last. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue up here so that that will make contact with those side flaps. So I'm not going all the way across because it's open in the middle. Then here I can put glue up at the top because these flaps do not reach all the way across. You gotta watch where you're putting your glue. Then set it down on a flat surface and take your hand, stick it in there, rub it around so that that glue makes contact with the paper. Isn't that fun? I went through my stash, got out some old stamps, some old retired dies, made up a fun little tag to hang on here, and I am just going to hang it on there and call it a day. And there you go. Just like that. And that is big enough. I'll show you. I wanted it to be big enough to hold the candy, so something like dark chocolates fit in there. Christmas M&Ms. <laughs> something like that. It will hold some nice sized candy. And that's what I was going for. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you find some inspiration to get out your, your stuff from your stash and get creating. Have a blessed crafty day, and I will see you next time.